The YF-23 was a unique-looking aircraft that sported diamond-shaped wings and a profile designed to reduce aerodynamic drag during supersonic and transonic speeds. Additionally, it had an all-moving V-tail and a high cockpit placement that allowed for excellent pilot visibility. The tricycle landing gear configuration comprised two main landing gear legs and a nose landing gear leg. The weapons bay was on the underside of the fuselage between the nose and main landing gear. The cockpit contained a side throttle and a center stick. In the 2010s, a naval variant of the YF-23, dubbed the NATF-23, was uncovered, and it was noted that this model differed significantly from its predecessors. The NATF-23 was proposed as a replacement for the F-14 Tomcat. Unlike earlier models, the NATF-23 featured diamond wings as far back as possible. Additionally, this aircraft was outfitted with traditional canted vertical tails instead of rudivators with serrations, intended to reduce its radar cross-section while enhancing maneuverability at lower speeds to facilitate aircraft carrier operations. The NATF-23 was also equipped with folding wings to allow for storage on flight decks, and its landing gear was reinforced, featuring both a tailhook and canards to assist in carrier landings. Finally, the NATF-23 has fitted with thrust vectoring nozzles. The intakes on this model were quarter circles with serrations and a compressed surface that was bumped. Notably, the wingspan on the NATF-23 was increased to 48 feet, while its length was reduced to 62 feet. The initial YF-23 design was evaluated, but it posed problems regarding flight deck space management, storage, landing, and catapult launching, necessitating an alternative design. Boeing donated a wind tunnel test model of the NATF-23, which underwent 14,000 hours of testing, to the Bellefontaine neighbors Klein Park Veterans Memorial in 2001. The F-23 fighter aircraft possessed certain traits that could be integrated into a sixth-generation fighter or the Air Force's proposed deep interceptor designed to aid B-21 raiders during their missions. One of these traits, the V-tail aspect, has already been discussed in the preliminary stages of developing the next generation of fighters. Boeing will probably draw from its previous involvement with the F-23 when considering the design of their future fighter. Several differences exist between the proposed production F-23 configuration for engineering and manufacturing development and the YF-23 prototypes. Rather than a solitary weapons bay, the EMD concept features a pair of tandem bays located in the extended forward fuselage. The central bay is intended to house AIM-9 missiles with a limited range, while a rotary M61 cannon is situated on the left side of the forward fuselage. The aircraft's length was slightly extended and its volume increased. The nose was enlarged to accommodate mission systems, including the radar, and the chines on the forebody were less pronounced and raised to the same height as the wing's leading edge. The engine nacelles could adopt a smaller, more circular shape by removing thrust reverses. The gap between them was filled in to ensure area ruling was maintained. The inlet design was also modified, from porous panels to a semicircular compression bump. Back in 2004, Northrop Grumman provided a proposal for a bomber based on the YF-23 in response to a request from the USAF for an interim bomber, for which the FB-22 and B-1R were also contenders. Northrop took the PAV-2 aircraft and modified it, so it could be presented as a visual representation of their proposed bomber. However, the idea of having an interim bomber based on the YF-23 was abandoned after the 2006 Quadrennial Defense Review.
The review favored a long-range bomber with a significantly greater range. As a result, the USAF has shifted its focus to the next-generation bomber and long-range strike bomber program. Japan has initiated to development fifth or sixth generation fighter program. As of July 2018, Japan had acquired enough knowledge to determine that outside collaboration would be necessary to see this project through to completion. Northrop Grumman is among the companies that have expressed interest in participating and there is conjecture that they may present Japan with an updated version of the YF-23.